What's up, everybody? So this is a fun run, okay? I was going through the map today, just, you know, looking at stuff, doing some of this, some of that. And I was like, whoa, I didn't clear this. I didn't clear this on hard. So I'm like, well, I've been working on REM. Why not just go in here and do the damn thing, sort to say? Now, I fucked myself, and it's really kind of funny. I also learned a lot about REM in the process. Like, I even had an extra life and everything. I was like, damn, baby girl. Um, how did I fuck myself on purpose? Well, I was doing the apple pie, uh, the free apple pie scam that, that uh, yeah, yeah, it might as well be called a damn scam. It might as well be, right? Because pretty much what this girl can do is with every wave, she can go into demon mode as soon as it starts, and that gives, it charges her kit. It's SCT charge, right? So you're paying 24 MP to do that every time um, and you're getting some MP back as the wave goes on but remember this girl also has sharp eyes to make up for right um, so yeah actually I could have gotten some more MP for this girl earlier and I was like I don't really need that much MP for her honestly if I would have got that last 50 MP I, I would have made this last run because I could have actually transformed in the very last wave yes that's what I did I didn't count my waves, I didn't do my math. Uh, I got to the boss wave and this girl could not transform. Really funny. Um, so yeah, that was interesting and I got the boss down to the very end. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking I'll have a better run if I can actually transform this girl and use her to her fullest, but she still did really, really good. Now, I also don't know what the hell is going on with the boss fight at the very end here. That bird is like freaking immortal and it just, it craps out other birds. It's kind of funny. Uh, so we do have skill salve on this girl. Uh, because for endurance battles and stuff like that, skill salve is amazing for her. It's just another free apple pie and a bunch of bonuses. Uh, but you have to wait for it. That's why I'm saying it's good for like endurance. Uh, if you're using Rem to get through a boss fight and she needs to survive the threshold uh, in her transformation and you're, the rest of your party's dead and she needs to finish the fight for you, typically by the end of the fight, skill salve will be charged and you'll be able to use it to give her plus 100% SCT recovery and it feeds her kit crazy when she's in her transformation. Uh, so it just becomes very useful. Um, so there's that, uh, on a side note, I've actually, you know, specifically for that strategy, just in case I ever have to do the whole endurance thing, I've actually been working on teaching this girl, not some healing, but some revive, right? Because that way this girl could get through a boss's nasty, like AOE, super saiyan threshold bullshit, whatever it is. She could survive by a little bit, and then she could bring back the healer or revive Ruto, who can then take over for healing. Somebody that actually has God Heal already built into the kit, so you're not paying for some shit like that. Point is, this girl could bring a party back, uh, but it's also like, to be able to do that and pull it off, you want Miracle Fluid, first of all, because that way you're only paying 4 or 5 SC to be able to bring people back to life. I think that's the cheapest way i found to do it on this girl. Um, you know, and there's limitations, but still, I've been teaching her stuff like that and different things to mess around with her kit. Hmm. I haven't even got to play with her basic attack and actually empower it. Um, I want to do that just because this girl can put in some work with her basic attack. Uh, for the most part, though, we're doing the skill salve thing, council of ten, and of course we're going to demon horn the first few waves. We'll sacrifice an S2 just to get some kills here. And then we'll just basic attack our way through. Like, we do want to charge our kit for the end, especially... Since I've seen how nasty that boss at the end can be. And there we go, getting some of our MP back. So we're at 5740 strength, right? It's just like not the most strength in the world by any means, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter with all those hit points, right? Uh, and she does get to come back to life a lot, <laughs> you know. Um, I just want to make sure I got enough MP. 
I got enough MP for that last wave. Hmm. Because it gets ridiculous. So the more waves that go on, the more Horn of the Demon transformations you can do, and the the more full your kit can be. So when you get to that last wave where the boss is, you can be all charged up. Alright. Might actually want a skill stock 3 on this girl. That wouldn't be bad for this little strategy. Kid's pretty much full, so now we're just tapping S1 and taking them all out. And I do have to remember that this girl, uh, she does need to be in her demon form to regenerate some MP. Because I don't have fast magic circles on her, which I probably should. I probably should have that on her. Oh, and I love that speed that she gets right off rip that we'll use an S3. Take some of them out. There's an S1. Finished everything up for us. We're still at 100 MP. That's what I'm watching. Our kit is pretty much fully charged. And we'll just throw some S1s here. Those ostrich things are fast, but they're not faster than this girl's cannonball, apparently. The S1 Massacre, S2. S2, baby, it did it. We'll finish this guy off with an S1. There it goes. Mm. That's right. Uh, I also tried the Lulabet cheese with her. <laughs> Hold on. If it gets down to one enemy, I'll try it here. Just to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. How Lilibet can spam her basic attack. I was actually like, oh, I wonder if this girl could do something like that. Let's see if there's just one of them. Alright. Funny thing is, she'll throw her ball like halfway out. And then she'll start, so it won't work. Uh, it is kind of funny though. Oh, we are down to 30 MP. Holy schmoly. Yep, you know what? I should have put the uh, advanced magic circles up on her, on this broad. Uh, because right now, even if I use any abilities, it's going to drain some of that MP with sharp eyes. And then I'm not going to have enough for a transformation. So honestly, I could have only done just a few transformations and gotten through all those waves no problem. You know what I mean? Um, and showed up here with hundreds of MP still. But, you know, I was showing off the the way to cheese apple pie with her. Really, you only need one or two waves of using Horn of the Demon to like really charge her full kit if you're actually working on charging it and you know getting ready for a boss battle. Uh, and then at the boss fight when you do transform, I mean she's under 6k attack strength, which I'm going to fix that, but 2400, 2460 defense is nothing to spit at. And she at least has 1136 mind. Um, yeah, the mind is the weakness. But look at that defense with the hit points. Uh, and she gets to come back to life like the freaking Terminator. Oh. Alright, so if I do recall, I should probably learn from my mistake. Uh, I guess just target the big one, or I don't know how this works, if they just keep spawning out of one of them, it's crazy. Oh man, I wish I could have got that S2 off in time. Here's this girl's wonderful S4. I do enjoy it, I think it's cool, I like seeing it. I like how it's animated. And we'll follow that up with an S3 to smash all these fools around us. What? There we go. I will say, I know there's more. I know there's more that just come out of nowhere. Oh, speaking of which, this is what I was talking about with skill self, right? We also have Council of Ten still, but I was going to try to get through this one without actually using the UR arc. Oh, we got ostriches just coming back to life. Oh, we're stunned. We are stunned, and we are out of our transformation, and we don't have enough MP. Uh-oh. We're going to have to uh, finish this one off with an old fashion. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Screw you, birds. 
chicken heads. Guess what? We can heal. We can heal now. Alright, we can at least get a couple thousand hit points back. And we still get to come back to life a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Uh, with a bunch of awesome boosts, like when this girl gets low on health. Uh, there's some ability for 3SC that gives her speed, protection, uh, just a bunch of buffs that you get for only 3SC, which is very nice. Which this girl can fully take advantage of because her health, her hit point bar can get low a bunch of times like it just did. Like we just died right now. Gotta try to focus this thing down and it's trying to get away. That speed is coming in handy. Uh, S3, and then we'll crowd control them all together and just S1 and basic attack the shit out of them. It's that one. It's that one. We need to, we need to get that one. Also, power counter. Something I've wanted to put on this girl since it's going to be pretty easy to charge her S4 and then just hold on to it and then get 30% more. To all your other kid, like to all your other attacks. That's right, we're surviving on speed, baby. Oh, that lined up nice. Can we get them all together with the S3? Yeah, look, my idea is just focus on this guy. And her S2 will kill all the other birds. Her crowd control. There we go. We're down to just this bastard. He's one of the smaller chickens. Are you going to call more? You better not. We better be done with you. But it, even if we're not, it's okay. I think she gets to still come back to life once more. Oh, the big bastard came back. How many more? How many more are going to spawn? Told you guys this one was interesting. Yeah, I guess I really should have rationed like some more MP for this. Oh, oh, this might be it. Oh crap, I was forgetting to try to use skill salve as well. This, if we die here, that's it. All right, we came back. Even though we should come back not unconscious. Alright. We have skill cell, so now we can supercharge our kit. And I don't know if we have another life after this. This girl surprised me. But we still have council of 10. Did we use our cell? No. That's what... Oh. They keep interrupting it. Thank you. We need that SCT recovery right now. So we can just spawn, spam crazy shit like this. That's what we need. We have council of 10 if we need to. And since this girl is not in her crazy berserk mode, we can still heal one more time with our summon. So endurance for the win, baby, right? It might not be the best clear time, but it's pretty dope that she can do this even with me mismanaging her MP, right? Uh, three minutes. Ah, you know, we cleared it in five for solo without preparation for this. I don't think that's bad. Uh, obviously, it'd be super easy to clear this in three minutes with an actual team. You know, if this girl had any sort of support, buffs, all that good stuff. So, uh, been having a lot of fun with this girl just in battles like this. Um, very cool, very cool where I can actually use skill salve. Uh, so this is probably where I'm going to be taking some future heroes to test abilities like that. Um, I've also been working on like a counter build for this girl because her counter attack would be so awesome with her freaking cannonball. It's just like she gets an extra attack that just flies out there. I've seen it proc. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do like counter and high counter on her just to see if we can get more of that ball and chain action. Let's see, uh, there was also, you guys saw buffs procking on her throughout the fight. Um, all of that is coming from 3SC. Let's see. 
All of that is coming from 3SC. Let's see, where is it? High speed shopkeeper that keeps her moving for 1SC. Very nice. Uh, Blessing of Mana. Blessing of Mana is absolutely awesome. So she's going to get speed, protection, magic barrier, and regeneration when close to death. That's always going to be super useful with the med with the medis and the magic barrier and all that. Um, it'll be super useful whether she's in her demon form or not, right? In, in the demon form, the speed, the protection, the magic barrier, that's all great. And when you're not in your demon form and this activates, then you're getting some regeneration on top of that. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, it just works out so well for her because if you play her right, and I didn't play her right, by the way, because I didn't go in there with enough MP, but you guys did see how many times she got to come back to life. She might have even had one more in her, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that works. You know, things like that. That's why I'm saying this, this girl is just a whale's wet dream because if you've managed to collect a lot of these abilities... You can pull from this arc and this arc, and you might have a 2SC ability over here that's okay for the most part, but on a character like this that gets to exploit the whole hit point system, it's just super strong on her, right? I mean, at the same time, I wouldn't exactly put Berserker on her because she has no way of making up for that. Um, so, you know, things, other things just aren't going to work with this girl. Uh, also, it's nice that she comes with Breaker automatically built in for free. You can always throw a Break Boost on her if you need her to break a boss for you and then maybe survive a threshold and then maybe bring the party back at the very end. She'll be able to do that and hopefully keep the boss broken so that, you know, you can do the damn thing. Uh, power Counter, I just taught this to her. Uh, for these Endurance Fights... I could totally see how you could just charge up her S4 and let it sit there, right? And then you're going to have strength plus 30%. That's going to make her do a lot more with the rest of her kit and actually fulfill that damage cap, which if this girl can actually do that, she can put in some serious work. So um, that's just f I'm 5 SC away from that, right? Uh, we have hammer high boost and hammer boost on her, of course. Dual wield. Um... A counter, I did put counter on her for like 2SC. Um, I did see it proc a couple of times. I'm still messing around with that, like I said. Uh, but all in all, this is a very, very simple build. There's no shields on her. There's no, you know, let's see. Yeah, I don't have any like auto abilities to go off other than auto brave, I believe. There's the counter with the 2SC. Actually, you know what? Illusion would be pretty awesome on this girl too. Like, think about that. Now, not only does the enemy have to work through 30, 40,000 hit points, but now you're dodging. You're, you're dodging some of the attacks and just not taking any damage from any of them at all. Like, even if it's only one, one out of every 10 attacks, it's going to make it take so much longer to kill this girl. Time is always on her side. The longer you take to kill her, the more damage she's going to do to you, especially if you can find nifty little ways to charge her kit up. And as the fight goes on, um, let's see. This is why I put skill skill salve on her. Um, let's see. What does this do exactly? Uh, supp occasionally supply during battle, which, you know, we had to wait till the end of that fight there and I got to use this, but... Uh, increase units SCT recovery speed by 100%. 100% is going to charge your entire kit fairly quickly. Like, this is going to charge up a bunch of things. Um, it's only 15 seconds, but it's 100% more to your charge rate. Like, I believe off of her demon ability, she's not getting no 100%. Hold on. Uh, recover HP and recover one SCT use for each skill. Yeah, she, okay, so this isn't actually increasing her SCT. Like, haste, what does haste do? Haste is like, I don't know, 25, 50%, something like that? Where is haste? Is it actually going to tell me the percent? Auto haste. Ah, yeah, it's not really telling me, like, what percentage it is, but 
100% is awesome. You're going to charge twice as fast. That's the way that I see it. Um, so it might be worth it for those fights where you need her to finish, right? You need her to finish that boss off. Uh, she's in her demon form to survive the threshold. Maybe she brings somebody back with miracle fluid, right? Um, and then you use skill salve. You get your uh, you get your kit charged. You're fully pumped. Um, you know, maybe you don't. Yeah, we don't even use the UR arc um, to charge her kit. That was going to be like the last resort thing. Is like if we ran out of everything. We were going to use the UR arc, but we don't even have to do that just because of skill self. Now, that is 9SC, though. That is 9SC. So, um, like I said, I'm still just trying stuff out. Uh, and, yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. I even have an MP up on her. It's kind of funny. I took a bunch of the hit points off of her to get that skill self. So, you know, that's just kind of where that came from. So it's good to know that I can jack this girl's hit points way up, right? Um, and run her like that and just not even use skill salve, uh, you know, use the arc to charge her, whatever. Just a lot of different awesome potential in this girl. Um, also, like I was saying, what I haven't really got to try yet is to power up her basic attack. She can put in some major work with her basic attack if you use that S1 to crowd control and get everybody together and then you just start smashing with your basic attack. Yo, mine's putting in crazy work right now and I don't have anything to increase its damage. Like I haven't taken any anything that gives you a chance for times four or times eight damage or you know uh, impact, there's no impacts on her. So there's a whole nother route for me to try there. Um, and it's just like, man, you, you can exploit this girl's uh, abilities and just you know, get a lot done, right? Um, I, I'll be honest with you guys, <laughs> for whatever reason, I thought when this girl goes into demon mode, like she can't heal, right? I also, for some reason, thought she just could not use magic. Like, I'll, 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 I'll be honest, I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> I don't even know why that was like the default position. Like, oh, she goes into demon mode, you know, she gets super buff and whatever, and, like, she can't heal. And for whatever reason, I was thinking she couldn't cast or anything when she was in demon mode. I don't know. Call me crazy. I sure as hell did. And when I was like, wait, why did I even think that, you know? And then I started really thinking about what that means. And I'm like, oh, that means she can survive a threshold and use magic and bring people back, you know? And then it was like, well, what's the cheapest way to be able to bring somebody back. Because I don't think this girl is going to want to be a full healer. You'd have to actually take every healing ability with you. And you're going to use up a ton of her SC. Hey, if you really wanted to make an unkillable healer, I don't see why not. If you want to use 20 SC to give her God Heal and Healing Boost. Uh, and then go into her transformation mode. Which is actually feeding her MP. And then just sit there and heal people with your 30,000 hit points so that you can't die. You know, more power to you. But personally for me, I'm just going to spend 5 SC and give her a revive ability. Right? And then when the party dies at the end, she survives. She just has to revive Ruto or whoever is there that actually has God heal for free and doesn't have to pay 20 SC. So she's just going to be reviving a healer who is then going to be taking over and bringing everybody else back or just healing everybody else as she miracle fluids them. And then she can just go back to obviously destroying whatever boss we're fighting. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of fun with this girl and I just wanted to at least show off just some of the little fights that I've been taking her to. Um, and it's nice to grind out some lapis along the way. I completely forgot that I didn't do these levels on hard yet. So I was like, yeah, why not just... <laughs> Go in there and solo them with her, right? Uh, there's so many different ways to do it with her, right? I mean, I could have put, like, some sustain on her and just went in there and proud force the shit out of everything, right? And then only transformed at the very end there. Because uh, I imagine, you know, this girl goes in there with 12,000 hit points or whatever. If she does have proud force, she has a bunch of crit for free. She is going to be healing herself all the time. Um, let's see, I do need to, I, 
I do need to take a couple SC off and give her something to give her a little bit more MP back. <laughs> like, I'm sure for like 2 SC, I could get some kind of little auto thing. Uh, I just forget what it's called off the top of my head. Um, so that's something that I'm going to want to do. I'll probably just take off one of these attacks. Uh, just because MP is that important, depending on where you want to run her. You know, I just ran her through like kind of an endurance level. There was a bunch of waves there. And I did throw away a ton of her MP for no reason at all other than just to power her kit up. And then I was, I was overdoing it just for the sake of doing it, right? Uh, I did change her equipment a little bit. Uh, she got a six star uh, hammer over here. It's doing earth, but who cares? Because when physically attacking, chance to break enemy guard. That's nice, and really the reason I have this is because of the attack and the defense bonus on it. 278 is not bad. Um, I did want to put the Zerg, the Zerg sledgehammer on her. And, um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't because Millum's using that. And baby girl gets special treatment. I don't know. I did not want to take that off of Millum. Obviously, I can also give her something much better than a four-star accessory number two. So, like, this girl has plenty of room for growth. But even just running her like this, even just running her like this, you know, she's freaking awesome. I also have, you know... 10 more SC that I can unlock, uh, and some more MP, some more MP, I'm a, you know what, that's how serious I am about it, I honestly thought maybe, <laughs> I thought maybe I could get by and coast without this, nah, 30 more MP, brah, that's one more transformation, that's, that's one more time that she gets to, like, pretty much go Super Saiyan, so, okay, they won me over with that, uh, and I will be unlocking Don't Get My Way. It is just such an awesome AoE S2. It puts in so much work. It does so much damage to everybody. Yeah, we're gonna need another. Uh, we're gonna need another day of grinding mats just for this girl. Uh, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So, uh, best of luck to everybody working on Grand Ass right now. I would be too, but instead. Had to work on Rem, um, and then after Rem's done here, I'm going to be trying to grind out as much crap as I can to stockpile for the celebration coming up and everything like that. So uh, this worked out well for me, I'm not even going to lie, uh, just the, the way that it all played out, um, and it gave me a chance to work on this girl and really, really appreciate how well she's appreciated over the years. Uh, over the years yeah it's kind of funny you know this girl this girl was definitely showing her age um i feel like they brought her back and balanced her really really well she's not like raping anything with her damage but it's not that bad either and then when you factor in the free apple pie combo and the fact that she um has thirty thousand, forty thousand hit points and she could survive these thresholds and then do this nifty shit and bring people back and, you know, bank on three SC abilities that give you like four different abilities when you're close to death. And she's going to be close to death like four times before you can kill her. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. So a lot of cool little nifty things she can take advantage of if you manage to get a lot of the limited stuff along the way. Uh, and just anything that exploits her hit point abilities. And A, like I said, this one doesn't even have a bunch of the hit points in her kit. I, I took them all off. So I could be running this girl with a lot more health uh, if I wanted to be more serious about it. Um, I have no problem running her in leisure mode like this. And yo, we still have, we still have 10 more levels to go. So I'll see you all on the flip side later, everybody. Fun with Ram.